So, uh, what, uh, tell me, what, uh, what brings you here? Oh, uh, well, my brother's getting married. Wow, I love weddings. And my parents are, you know, being a nightmare already. And, uh, I've kind of forged this fragile peace between them. A fragile peace? They always made a mess of everything, mm -hmm. like all holidays yeah. and graduations and funerals. I remember the funeral incident, and I maintain that funerals need to be about the person who died. Right. And, you know, I got smart, and over the years, I started coming up with ways to avoid situations like this. You know, like, a, you know, Thanksgiving, who am I going to spend Thanksgiving with? Well, they think I'm in Honduras building schools with the U.S. CARES program, but little did they know, the U.S. CARES program doesn't exist, so... Oh, well, sounds real. Yeah, I mean, I kind of I got it figured out, but I don't know, this wedding, it's risky. I guess I'm just looking for some advice. I don't know, someone to talk to you super quick to figure out, you know, how to survive the next few months. I can absolutely recommend somebody. You could find a pen. Yeah? Well, I, was, I, was, I mean, I thought you, just because you knew the whole backstory and... But I, I'm not a therapist. But you were my therapist. Oh, no, no, no. No, is that what they told you? No. Yeah. I saw you as part of a state-funded study of the effects of divorce on, on children. Your mother was referred to me by the courts because of the nature of your parents' divorce. Oh. I wrote a book about it. It was on the New York Times bestseller list for 38 weeks. Oh? It's in its 14th printing. Margot Kidder did the audiobook. What was the name of that book again?